Hold on, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, like I'm hearing that. I'm listening to Berserk Arc 3, some weird 1147 song. Anyway. Ah, so weird. All right, so um, these are the Harmonic Dine Athena. Um, keeping in tone with all the gods that they've used, we've had Zeus, we've got uh, Poseidon down there, and then we've got, what were you, the Harmonic Dine... Helios. Is Helios a god? Who's who's the god of Helios? Helium god? Anyway, this is their newest thing, and I don't know their price because it isn't live yet. And I really should ask. Here's the thing. You can reserve it now for a dollar, which is something that Linsol likes to do. Um, oh, speaking of Linsol, thank you to the sponsors of these videos. Click the sponsor link in the description. And also, thank you to my patrons. Because um, more than ever, 2023 is going to matter for you guys. So tell me what you want me to do for patrons in the comments below on all these videos, because I'll listen. Um, this is a semi-open, mostly open, semi-closed, half-closed headphone, because here's the Zeus, and we're gonna compare to the Zeus for build, not for sound, because I actually had the, the sound on this thing, and I was like, oh God, I missed Zeus. But then it's like, okay, but Athena, so open back, wood, metal, metal, wood, then this weird like janky headband thing that's half metal and plastic and the pads made by God. Um, I also brought the blonde B50s out because since I just did this review and did I, I held my promise up and I put waifus on it. Since I just did this review, I figure you're gonna wanna know because these are gonna be roughly the same price. Well, actually these are probably gonna be a little bit cheaper but these are a full fuck you closed. And these, while the back is made literally of glass, and I should clean that off because that's one of the negatives about making a headphone back out of glass is if you touch it, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Because as soon as you touch it, it's like, <laughs> oh, actually my hands are not that greasy today. But yeah, no, fucking beautiful glass backed and then look at the sides here's all the vent holes this is why it's a semi closed because the entire thing all the way around is vented which means you lose about 50 percent of the acoustical awareness from an open back but you never feel like you're trapped in a bubble like if i put these on and I, I, I wear them, I'm... That's what it sounds like to me inside of these because they're super closed. And <coughs> dying. And with these, I put them on and I can still hear myself, but it's just, it's just covered. It's like 50% down. And I think a lot of gamers are going to appreciate the slight bit of awareness. Um, here's the thing. I'm actually a, a person I know, I think a patron of mine was going to the Fights Land, which I'm actually going to in, is it March? Yeah, it's in March sometime. There's a, it's a LAN party. Like, remember when people used to pick their computers up and bring them to where the internet was good? Yeah, now it's just we stay at home or play with consoles or have a fucking stupid Steam Deck. I could bring the Steam Deck instead of a computer. That'd be kind of cool. Um, anyway, the Fights Land was looking for sponsors. So I was like, he asked me, and I was like, hey, Linsol. And Linsol was like, yeah, we'll provide some headphones as, a, as for the prize pool. And they're going to provide B50s. And they're going to provide Athenas. And they're also going to provide some of these, which are brand spank me new. Sorry for the color. I'm walked away from the thing. These are Thyodio Ghosts. And they look remarkably similar to Shore 1840s, even with the split. So when, I, when those are finished burning in, I'm gonna give those a little whirl. And I think we're gonna have three, cause those are gonna be roughly 150. These are 130 and I think these are nearer to 200. But those three headphones are coming to a LAN party for a gaming, like, like to be given out as gifts. And so I sat here doing the review of this finally and that's all I could think about was which one is the best for gamers. And I don't know the answer yet. I obviously can't assess that one yet, but I've been using this one forever. Feels like forever. And now these show up. So I, I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to fucking ju just just bite the bite the pillow and go for it. <laughs> so these sound. All encompassing. Somehow, all right, 
here's here's what I figured out differences between like the B50s. I put these on and I get as good an experience. Oh my god, I can't speak. As good as an ex of an experience as I reviewed. Everything's clear and concise. It's all in this little cannon of a trapped ball, and you're just like, here's all the information, and it still echoes out. Change tracks. One Punch Man. Hold on. One Punch Man. Ah, you put these on. I put those on, and you're like, you fucking love the sound. It's squeezing it right into your head. You put these on, and you get this, like, semi-open effect going on. And all of a sudden, it's like, ah, relax. It's less... I feel like if you're claustrophobic, acoustically claustrophobic, these may not be suited for you, and something like this would be. It's a little, it's just, it's more open. It's a little bit wider. It's a little bit softer, too. That was another thing. Comparing it to the, like, the Zeus, these have a more warm tone throughout the entire sound than this or this. So, I, I fucking... But it's a harmonic dime, so it doesn't sound like shit. Like, if you said, hey, give me a semi-closed glass back headphone that's warm, it would probably sound like muddied bullshit. And it's a harmonic dime, so it doesn't. And then the low end's, like, bubbling up. I, it's not even making low end right now. Whatever part of this song, this is mysterious from One Punch Man. There's, like, someone that's got, like, a, like, a, like an 18 hertz wave that's at, like, one decibel just floating around. And I could just feel it. Because when you trap the sound behind glass, I don't know what sort of dampening they're doing against the glass. I don't think they're shooting the sound straight into glass. That would be bad, unless they figure out a way to do that and make it sound good. But it, it's just, it holds the bass in more than you would have with like the Zeus. The Zeus, I was doing comparisons before the filming of this between the Zeus and this, because I figured that would be the closest. Everyone has this or loves this. I wonder how this works out. And this takes advantage fully of that, like, well, we're not gonna open the entire back, just some slots in the side. So maybe we can just like concentrate the fuck. It's like closing the door of a microwave. Like this is a microwave with it wide open. Yes, it's gonna cook your food and it's gonna kill you at the same time. And this is a fully closed microwave made of steel or an oven. This is sort of like that halfway point where it's just, it can ruminate the sound at you much more controllably. And I, I think, for chill sessions, this would probably be my pick. I plugged this directly into my phone when I got it. I did an unboxing for it. Check out the unboxing channel. This unboxing won't be out. I got, I'm like 100 days behind. So I'll, I'll, if I unbox something today, you will see it in three months because there's got so many unboxings coming up. They haven't even been uploaded yet. Yeah, this is just, this is probably the most laid back harmonic time. And I'm, I'm not saying that like, the fucking Zeus wasn't laid back. I never said the Zeus was like an aggressive thing, but somehow these just exude this calm. That's the only way I could describe it. They put a layer of calm onto everything you're listening to. Where you put this on, I go back to that exact same song, which is, by the way, from the Lego movie, because that's hi-fi. Let's put it back. Yeah, I hear the sounds and they're 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 directly in the spots they want to be and it's that, that's a quality quality listening experience and I put these on and it sounds like the volume is down but I know it's not I know they're at roughly the same volume I am running this off the LA90 and this off the Earman amp oh, using the stock cable I might add let's look at build differences I don't want this to be another 25 minute review so I said metal, 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 wood inserts and shitty plastic head and shitty metal and plastic headband. What if I told you they made these cheaper? Everything's plastic except for like one piece of spring steel, yet it feels better built. Would you believe me? Probably not, but welcome to Z Reviews. No one believes me until they get it. So the pads are not as insane as this, as the Zeus, but at the same point, they're a loose three knuckle in a harmonic dime pad with perforations here and it's just it's just so soft it's so fucking nice and then this cup is plastic millions of holes glass and it is glass because if you take something that's like a hard piece of metal in fact the inserts here just like that are also glass i don't know how you do that or the effort it must have taken to 
curved glass to put it there. Like, don't bend these is what I'm saying. But the big difference is the actual slide mechanism is so much better than it is on the Harmonic Dines Deuce. The padding here is full length, nice and soft. This, this kind of feels like an old school headphone up here because they don't make pads on top as soft as this is. We still have our metal. We still have our serial number. I'm 0002. But like this doesn't wiggle like that one wiggled. It had like a weird flex. This is just, this feels good. It's got the pads installed here. So when you back the cop up, it doesn't make the clank sound. I actually just added some uh, felt tape here. So it wouldn't go clink, clink, clink on that. So harmonic dine giving a shit. And then we unplug the 3.5 millimeter wires and we look at the wire and it's like, oh my God, fabric wrapped, it's brown. But I don't know, somehow Brown's making a comeback for hi-fi. But look at these knurled aluminum 3.5 to the slightly too big split. But look at the size of the wire that comes off of it. And we go down and we reach one of the seven mysteries of the world. If you put 3.5 millimeter into the headphone and the other end is going to be a 3.5 millimeter, why the fuck is the plug that much bigger? Holy Jesus, like all I could think of is they had this four wire weave and they had to use this four wire weave. So they just got the biggest connector possible because this only needed two wires to go in and this needed four wires. So we need to double the fucking volume of it to 200%. And it's just hilarious. And I don't think in my box, they did not provide a quarter inch adapter. So you're going to need to buy yourself a quarter inch adapter. This should honestly have one of those screw on ones to make it permanent. Cause that's some, that's some hi-fi level shit right there. Let's plug that back in. Um, I could plug it into my phone because it, it works. These work off my phone. They're like 118 decibel sensitivity, which is crazy good. We got the RNL indicator. The RNL indicator on the headphones themselves, by the way, are a little bit hard to see. Like it's it, when you look at the uh, the blonde, it's like there. That's an R, and that's an L, and you find it. Although I'm still want to color the backs. With this, you're sort of like looking, and you can't quite and then you see right there is an embedded little r and a little l right there so you, you could figure out where you're going uh what was i just gonna do play music play more music yeah you're gonna put these on from any other headphone nearby like, these are very warm and i burned them in as much as i could stand to burn them in before i could put them back in my head and it's like these are a warm headphone but they're not lacking hold on yeah, it's like the nicest warm headphone, like straight across the board, because it, it doesn't miss detail. It's less detailed than like a full close back, like the Blondes or even the Zeus. I feel like those concentrate on detail more. These just smooth the shit out of everything. And that's good. That's not a bad thing. Every, people think, oh, it's smooth out. I'm missing things. You're not. You're just presenting them differently. It's like having a hot dog on a fancy dinner plate with all the three pieces of silverware and you have to pinky up. No, pinky up is actually not a thing in etiquette. That's not. It's a made up joke from like cartoons. But like you could just have a hot dog in your hand at a ballpark and it's just as good as a hot dog on a fancy fucking plate. This is the just eating a hot dog in a dirty alleyway behind a dumpster presentation of sound where it's like, you know what? Yeah. It sounds like a cat's meowing in my headset. Oh, wait. I could just hear him through the headset. Oh, man. It's just so... Pink Floyd. What is this? Careful with that axe, Eugene. It's just so delicately playing. And there's just enough sound dampening that... Like the fans running and stuff. Like, they, just, they just get lowered. And you hear it just, just, just playing. Just playing nicely. I didn't think Herbound Design was going to make a more chill. I guess after coming from, because they sort of like bounced back and forth. There's only been four Harmonic Dine headphones. They were, they were the original uh, Harmonic Dine. Her, uh, I just said the name of it. Harmonic Dine Heresies. That's a good name. There's no God named Heresy. But yeah, the, uh, those. And then came the Zeus. And then came the Poseidon, which was much more sterile and cleaner and needed a tube to really warm it up and now we're to this which even if it's like their budget model i'm okay with this headband and the plastic i'm sure they can make something even more expensive 
go with like this exact same design and make it 500 fucking dollars but they've they've come back around to like just nice to listen to not quite as as uh informative let's put it that way as something like the blonde b50s which is a super close back and trapping you in there with the sound but you put it on and you just feel free it's kind of like wearing kph 40s if it were kph 40s you all should have a fucking set by them but you put them on and it's like i don't really feel anything it's just sort of like it's all oh, music is playing oh god oh <sighs> and that's what it feels like to our kph 40s and that's what these are sort of that where it's like they're very very comfortable like more comfortable than probably the blondes just because the pads are a different material and then you don't get that like the claustrophobia of like i'm closed in now you can still hear yourself speaking there's there's noise and there's air and then music appears and it's like oh this is lovely this is fucking la epic score droplets of guilt The wallflowers, like the low end just comes in, it's like boom. The, you, certainly if you love Harmonic Dine's low end, this might be the best presentation of it, period. More so than even the Zeus. Because they warm the whole sound up and then the bass just happens to get trapped behind two pieces of glass. It's like, oh, there we go. There was something I was gonna do. I'm gonna show off the, uh, the bag. So you get a bag. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely? You get a nice bag. And you also, and I took this out of the box, you get a coin. Like a fucking leprechaun. A harmonic dime coin that says Athena and the serial number. So if that was what you really wanted in your life, you'll have a coin that you can, when you get sent to hell, you can be like, uh uh I have an Athena coin. Hand that on the river sticks and they'll take you right up to heaven. I like this box too. They won't, because if you remember, the goddamn Poseidon came in a fucking flight case with like, I was like, why? I was literally, I waved my arms around like a lunatic. I'm like, why? But look at this cardboard box that just opens like that. Oh, oh, and there's where the coin was. So that means you could actually just throw this away if, you don't, if, you're done, if you're done with it. Not a piece of cold device, but a piece of art with warmth. Well, I certainly got the warmth thing right. Oh, it also has this uh, tie for the insanely nice wire, which is made out of like fake leather, real leather. It's not a Velcro tie. They just gave you that. And uh, yeah, the specs, since they're not on the internet yet, 116.5 decibels sensitivity, 34 ohms. Claimed as a semi-closed 50 millimeter dynamic. You know, I, I fucking fully endorse the newest and greatest thing it's always the newest and greatest on this channel and if you if you find that a thing i actually made a video explaining why because i need to do this forever as a career and that means i have to take something that's brand new and then not just have that be the only thing for the year i have to be like all right cool you exist now what do you do that's different and better and maybe you push something else off the table like i know i'm replacing like the blonde b60s is getting replaced with the b50s because why would you buy the b60s which are good when the b50s just sound so much clearer and now these come in and they sort of replace directly to the b60s but they're semi-open and they're like oh we're in a fucking renaissance period of audio i couldn't add if you're starting it as a as an audio reviewer now you're fucked because everything is actually good when I started, it was M50s. People were like, M50s are the greatest headphone. And it was not hard to just prove that because all you have to do was fucking wear them. And all of a sudden, M50s were like, oh, these Audio Technicas aren't that good for actual listening to music. Who the fuck said they were? And it was the entire internet. So remember that, boys and girls. I'm the one that killed the M50s. Me! That's why patrons are there forever. Thank you, by the way, for being patrons. Anyway, I'm going to give these a full endorsement, and I cannot wait... Everything's just starting so quiet, and it's just, I could feel it buzzing up, and just... Yeah, now, these are a soft, warm, semi-wide. I don't think they're as wide as the Zeus, because they're closed back, or semi-closed versus open. But yeah, no, fuck, fuck yeah. Harmonic Dine doing it again, and they're releasing it on... Valentine's Day, thus the red outfit and the red red. Everything's red for Valentine's Day. Hope you hug your Valentine or ruin their night by spending their Valentine's gift money on Athena's or buy Athena's for them. Athena is the god of Echo. What's Athena the god of?
Strategic warfare and wisdom. There you go. Can't go wrong with Athena now, right? 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 Good? Great. Um, patrons get to see these reviews early, by the way. I wholeheartedly thank them for being patrons. They also get to participate in yard sales on the 1st to the 10th of every month where I sell a bunch of shit that I'm done with or has been replaced or that company sent in like, I don't give a shit. So there you go. And then also you get to access the sound demos where I have done the sound demo of this. It is on there. It is uncensored. And you can enjoy it right now as for $5 a month. You get to see all those. You get all those benefits for $5 a month. And then on top of it, for $10 a month, you get into the private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat where you can ask me questions directly, and I will answer you with my mouth, although it might be AI-generated now because that's sort of a thing that's happening and I fucking hate it, or love it, I don't know. I'm going to make Emma Watson talk dirty to me at some point in my life. Um, so yeah, for $10 a month, private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat, and once you're in that, you're in the Lifetime Swap Meet channel where you can buy, sell, and trade gear amongst other members. There's over 300 members in the Swap Meet. 350? There's a lot. There's more than a few by a bunch. Hold on. Swap. Meet. 357 members. Currently 30 of them online. Buying, selling, and trading gear with each other. So yeah. Um, thank you to everyone who is a patron, who is going to be a future patron. Um, love you guys. The wallpaper is available in the in the waifu hoard. There's a, a link that takes you to Resilio Sync. And if you install that, it syncs every wallpaper I've ever used ever on this channel, you just, here's a lump, here they are, in a lump, and if you stay active in that, you will get every wallpaper I change to when I change to them, so when I set this up for the review yesterday, that wallpaper was downloaded automatically. Anyway, I'm done. We good? You're good? Checking out Hi-Fi Guides? You're going to see you at Fights.net 2023 and Can Jam New York City, where I will be on a panel, and I'll be, with my face and everything will be on a panel at Can Jam New York City 2023, so yeah. It'll be an Ask the Reviewers panel. You know what I'm going to say? It fucking sucks. Dicks. <laughs>